Hey everybody, Matt Bell with the Electric Violin Shop. We get a lot of questions about preamps and active DIs. Uh, a lot of people know that um, technically a violin needs a preamp in order to get into a system. And since most of the violins that we sell are passive, we do get a lot of questions about that. One of our favorite products is the LR Bags Paracoustic DI. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, first, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this violin for you so you can hear what it sounds like without a DI. Uh, the Jordan 5 string with a Barbera pickup, uh, no preamp, just uh, straight into the amp. I'm going to plug it into the, the bags and we'll run that pretty much flat so you can just sort of hear how that colors the tone. So what you can hear right off is that there's a little bit warmer and richer sound. It's a little more complex, uh, a little thicker, a little more compact. To me, it's a dramatic difference between the unpreamped sound and the preamp sound with the bags. It's just really fantastic electronics. It's got a lot of different features on it that, uh, that I'll show you. And uh, it, it really helps you to, to really customize your tone and gives you a nice strong output for your sound man. All right, so here's what the LR Bags DI looks like. Uh, you've got your input, and you can either use the quarter inch output, or you can use the DI out, which is an XLR. If you use the XLR out, and your sound man sends phantom power, that'll come right through here, and you won't need the battery that's on this side. There's a battery door right here, where you can put your nine volt battery. As you can see, when that nine volt is on then you won't use this 48 volt this is your phantom power indication you do have a red LED here to show that there's power because I've got a battery in there now when you connect through the DI out your sound man will send phantom power to you so that you're not burning battery and this little light will come on so that you know that he sent that phantom power there is a, a volume knob here uh, they've got some different notches that you can use and the manual sort of explains where these notches are in a frequency curve um, everything else here is just pretty much centered. You do have a phase invert and you can actually gain up or down your input here. Okay, so that's the LR Bags DI. Uh, these things are really reasonably priced for, um, for the quality of equipment that it is. And uh, we like these a lot. I own one of these personally and I use it all the time. One thing that LR Bags did when they, uh, when they discovered how much people really like the Paracoustic DI but sort of wanted a couple of more features in a uh, in a, just a simple pedal board for somebody who plays pretty much just acoustic uh, sounding stuff. They came up with what they call the Venue DI, which is it's the same electronics that are in the Bags Paracoustic DI, so you get that same uh, nice, warm, rich preamp sound, but it's got a couple of nice features I want to talk to you about. So this is the Venue DI. Um, as you can see, you still have the same EQ controls, your bass, low, mid, high, mid, presence, and treble. Still a volume control here. Uh, you still got your uh, input gain that you can set. You've got a couple sweepable. These high and low mids are sweepable and there's a notch as well. One thing that you'll notice in addition, it's got a tuner. So you can click that on. And then you can silently tune when it gets in the middle and you get that light in the middle then you're going to know it's in tune, right? It also has a clean boost and on the back there's a knob. Back here you can, se you can select how far up and down that boost is. If you're uh, sort of playing in the in the mix a little bit and you want to take a solo, you can kick this boost and you can uh, sort of kick yourself up a couple dB so you don't have to worry about a sound man catching you or if you don't have a sound man that um, you know, you're just sort of set up there by yourself. So this is a really nice uh, unit too. It's got a couple more features. It's got the clean boost. It's got the tuner in it. 
just like the Paracoustic DI, it's got the uh, XLR out. There's your, your boost knob. It also has a uh, effect center return. It's got a ground lift. Um, just a really nice unit. I will say as a caveat, one thing that I've discovered as a, as a user of the LR bags, if you're going to use it on your acoustic violin tone, which, which I highly recommend, it sounds fantastic, you don't want it to be in line with your distortion tone. Or if you do, you're going to want the, the bags upstream of where your distortion is. The, the bags, they really do not handle distortion well. If you try to distort your tone and then feed it to the LR bags, it's going to completely uh, deconstruct all the, all the edge and the, uh, the thickness that you've got there from distortion. Um, really is not going to sound good through the bags. It's definitely a pair acoustic DI. It's designed for sort of that acoustic, rich, warm, uh, woody type sound, but it's an outstanding DI. We really like it a lot.